Hello everyone and welcome to another Arma video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my latest addiction, Arma 3 Liberation. Now, I have no idea how this game mode and mod has slid under the radar for me. It literally gives me everything I want out of a tactical Milsim-esque shooter. And we'll be going through all the mechanics and features very soon here. But God, I've just been sinking so much time into this. Let's take a look here. I've spent 183 hours in the past two weeks playing this game mode. And it's just, it's so, it's so good. So let's jump straight into it. For those of you that don't know, Arma 3 Liberation is a capture the island style game mode, which means, means that you start on this tiny singular operation base, which is an aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean. And you have maybe a couple Blackhawks, maybe a couple Little Birds, and maybe a few Rib Boats, but that's literally it. You will then go on to capture all of these points on the map that are marked here with boots on the ground by players from AI. And as you can see over the past two weeks here on this particular server, we put in a ton of work. Now, this is a persistent game mode, which means just like Antistasi, this server is up 24 seven. All through the day, there are people running organic ops, running Logi, building fobs, taking objectives, doing recon. This is just literally the ultimate sandbox for me. And I know it's not PVP, but God, let me, once I start going through some of these features, it's really going to blow your mind away. So I guess the first thing we'll start with is what are all these points are on the map? So for example, there are a ton of different objectives we can take. We have major cities like this big square with the triangle inside. This, you have to take all of these major squares in order to win the map. As you can see, there's quite a few here spread out around. You have these smaller squares with the dot in the center. These are towns. And what you do with towns is you actually gain population support. The more towns that you take without killing civilians, without damaging buildings, um, you actually gain the support of the population on the island, which means that they will fight for you. However, if you destroy too many buildings, civilian infrastructure, or you kill too many civilians, then what happens is the, the island actually starts to fight against you. They'll start spawning guerrilla forces that attack you behind your lines, like in any of these blue areas. As you're passing through, you can get ambushed by guerrillas. They start laying down IEDs on the roads. It's incredibly immersive and very thematic how that particular system works. In addition to having a population uh, reputation, you also have things like factories, for example, these gas station icons. At every factory, they will produce different supplies. And there's three different types of resources, I guess we'll say. We have supplies, ammunition, and fuel. And these three resources are generated at these factories, which you have to capture. Now, once you capture them, they will start generating those resources. And then on our server, we have to have stalkers, or those are our you know, logistics pilots, or even ogres, which are our logistic convoys, run out to these factories in the world, gather the resources, and bring them back. All the while, mind you, if we have negative population support running through IEDs, guerrilla ambushes, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Not to mention, sometimes we do some light Zeusing. So we've covered the civilian population. We've covered the factories. Um, let's talk about what those resources are used for. Now, this is a live server right now. People are playing on the server right now. I've teleported myself kind of away so I you know, can get you an overview of what's going on. This fob is entirely created by players. Everything that you see that has been placed down cost resources, and you can actually even see the resource dump over there on the right side of the fob. This fob will constantly become under attack. You can see we have a couple of helicopters out there, um, and it does cost, just like in squad, resources to expand the fob. Now, what's really cool here is, as you can see, those paladins, those huge 155 arty. Let me see if I have binoculars. I do. These are controlled by players. They're actually engaging targets. The other players, this, uh, it looks like these, this squad over here is calling out like literal hundred meters or clicks away. It's all tied to one. It's a persistent living game mode. It feels almost like I've never been on a deployment, but it feels like a deployment because everything is in context, right? Unlike an Arma operation where you pretty much go from one op to the next and there's, unless you're playing a campaign, there's no real tie. Everything that we do at the previous point, all the lives that are lost, the equipment that is lost, um, the, ca the points that we capture, the assets that we gain um, or save, it all plays to the next objective. 
to the next op. So it's all intertwined and it creates this amazing narrative experience unlike anything I've ever played just because of that 24 seven persistence. So this is like the scale of it is insane, right? Because sometimes you'll have a phantom element, which is our call sign for special forces out doing SF while our main infantry platoon is pushing. You've got uh, cast inbound. Like, so we have A-10s and we have uh, Apaches out that can come by and do gun runs. We're trying to deny the enemy AA. There's a whole bunch of stuff that actually gets really crazy when you see these ops kick off. And like you can see from above here, you have a ton of stuff going on. Like these guys are going on an op right now. This is organic. You don't need to take any training. You don't need to sign up at a pre predetermined time. You log into the server and there's always people going. This server is already rated like the top 30 ARMA server. There's people on all the time. And the community has been amazing. And I'm so grateful to have such a wholesome community that really values tactics and teamwork and the immersion factor of ARMA. Because God, the experiences we've had here are absolutely nutty. You can even head over to reddit.com uh, slash r slash karma cut and take a look at all the community clips that have come out from this server but <laughs> aside from that we haven't even finished going through all of the mechanics here we've just talked about the fob building and how all the resources get used uh, if we look at the map you'll see that there are also these big check marks and this is like a really cool way of adding dynamic objectives these big check marks are randomized every time you go to a new server and what this essentially means is if you capture the base that it's attached to for example this paladin the m10 9 a6 is tied to the al ryan navy outpost when we capture that we unlock the ability to build it so we've unlocked the majority of our heavy assets here already on the south like over here we've gotten our 22a raptor but the next time we play this map this objective might be somewhere else it might be all the way up here on the top right uh what else do we have here we have to get our bus three which is the up armored bradley over here we haven't gotten that yet our ac 130 spooky we have to capture this zone oh i haven't even talked about the bases there's other objectives called bases and these bases are filled with military targets they're not considered civilian targets so we can arty them oh it's just so good uh what other objectives i think that's the majority of them that i do need to talk about we do have radio towers and what radio towers do is they actually um protect quote unquote protect objectives near them within a certain radius to where if they're getting attacked the radio tower will ping and ask for enemy ai reinforcements to arrive and these can be anything from paratroopers from any from mih these could be uh, convoys of btrs rolling up um it could be an armored column it could be a whole bunch of tigers that are rolling up fast it's it's insane and that's not even talking about the very light zeusing that we actually allow on the server from our experienced zeuses so sometimes you'll have really immersive experiences going on that are just very slightly nudged in that direction by a watchful eye in the sky who's actually giving you that really incredible cinematic experience and i just i've been i've been hooked literally hooked because sometimes the ai will even push back as well and you're not just allowed to do whatever you want to do as you continue to take objectives and even these major cities your awareness from the enemy team or from the ai goes up and as that awareness goes up the armored assets start coming in the bigger battle groups start coming in for example after we started to take some of these villages we hit the max awareness and we started having migs fly in and shoot down our a10s and these a10s and stuff are all very very expensive like some of these assets that we have out like these paladins take multiple logistic runs from our chinooks to actually purchase so everything has meaning and i really do enjoy that it's something that i that really really reminds me of my time playing eve online where all of the objectives and all of the reason for doing things had some kind of story or had some kind of greater meaning behind it like it's so cool that i can just hop on this server at the mill in the middle of the night it's 10 30 and see an active op going on let's see if i can pull up c tab and see what's going on let's see here we've got stalker 3 loaded up with assassin 1 2 moving in to assist these guys over here we've got our paladins kicking off we had a huge platoon up we've got banshee over here which is our casavac element um rolling out and there's zero training you just hop in whenever you feel like it get on the net and try to find some people to play with so it's it's just oh god it's just been so so good and then all these mods that we have like c tab here let's see if anyone's rocking their helmet cam okay so i can even tab in here to slick and i can see slick he's just dismounted off a of stalker three and stalker three is taken off and his squad is now pushing in like <laughs> look at this this is so cool and this is why i love mods like oh god it's insane i can literally helmet cam into people across the map and see what they're doing 
from my uh, command tablet, which is just insane. I can even text people like I can tell uh, Paladin hello. Like this is just awesome because if I'm outside of, oh, what was that? Something exploded out there. I wonder what happened. If he's outside of my uh, radio range, because we do use task force radio, which means that, you know, even the terrain affects how the radio sounds. Um, if I'm outside of that range, like he's too far, cause this map is huge. I can send him a text and he'll get back to me and he'll answer me and see what's going on. Um, and we can call in targets, our sniper team elements or, or our scout elements can communicate like that. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, we also have advanced medical system, which you guys will probably have seen in one of our medic videos or clips where you have to bandage and tourniquet and you have to stop bleeding. And you have to do CPR and give people, um, you know, a whole bunch of meds like uh, from morphine to epinephrine. Uh, depending on the situation a uh, dragging and carrying fast ropes. We even haven't touched on fast ropes We have fast ropes in we just haven't run a small enough uh, Operation to where they've been useful and we can even see right now Someone down there is playing minecraft and is expanding this uh, indirect fire pit I don't know what they're gonna do with them They could put down a howitzer or another mortar But it looks like they're even expanding the fob and it's just a living, breathing world. Stalker 3 is finally back from dropping his guys off. And it's just so organized. I, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm in love with this, guys. You need to check this out. We run this server 24-7. Discord.gg slash Karmica if you want to join us um, and get all the information on how to play this. I'm trying to think if there's any other cool stuff that I'm leaving out on. But honestly, you have to experience it for yourself. There's nothing like, <laughs> for example, we recently did a 100-man Halo drop out of Chinooks to attempt to take the Northeast uh, airport. That didn't go so well, but uh, <laughs> oh, just it's so epic. It's so epic. I'm in love with this. So this is probably one we'll be playing and streaming for a little bit. Like, what are they doing? They're loading up, they're rearming. You can see like they're continuing. This is a living, breathing world 24 seven. It's so good. It's so good. So hop on, join the discord, learn about the game mode, ask people, we'll help teach you. And I've got a whole bunch of other guides and information and resources in the discord as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I did hope you enjoyed today's explanation of what I've been hooked on recently. And until next time, be safe, be happy, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Good hunting out there.